100 years, 100 tsunamis. What happens? Gamers have been asking for decades, what will I do when the big wave arrives? Uh, on January 1st of every year in this playthrough for the next 100 years, we're going to send a tsunami to this town. It's not a town yet, it's just a basically like a removed chunk in Minecraft, but it's city's skylines. And we are on, what is it, January 1st, 2000? Uh, we're doing some experimenting today for a challenge that's going to be in an upcoming video, or I guess it'll be out by the time this VOD is out, so go watch that if you wish. Uh, but yeah, can we keep the city alive without just going bankrupt or being completely underwater? I think I've set everything up right. Uh, I had to do some major terraforming and experimentation last night, because it, it is rather awkward to set this up. You'd think you could just remove everything. <laughs> Maybe I don't know the best terraforming tools, but yeah, I somehow created this. I'll just let you leave that to your imagination how I did this. Um, what are you doing to prepare for the tsunami? <laughs> oh my gosh, so many sea puns. We're in the city of Seattle, a la Twitch viewer uh, Hobo3, so thanks for that name. That was a very fun idea. I think Seattle is the perfect name for this town. Um, but yeah, take. Uh, I, I would invite you to take... Uh, take take a shot every time I say tsunami for the rest of the seam of the stream or what have you, and uh, also it takes the tsunami about six months to arrive. But let's build up the town. You know we've got twelve months now to prepare for a tsunami, numero uno. So let's <laughs> do first do the very scuffed connection of our highway, and then I've just been trying to think of how I'm going to do this. I could do this. I could do this. What is the fastest way we could connect these two things? <laughs> Um, there we go. Is the pit full of urine? No, it's, um, I don't know what this is. This is, uh, I think it's just sand. Somehow the trees have stayed alive here. Um, mm. I mean, I was thinking of this, I could zig and I could zag. Yeah, I think that the zigzag looks more cursed. So let's do that. Maybe not even cursed, just, just stupid oh my gosh how is this supposed to i got blue somewhere in there okay let's do that yeah if it's allowed all right we'll do that and then oh the road curves what a, what a horrible idea uh hmm why did it go down of its own will without me even asking there we go yeah just come into the city it's fine everything's okay uh, moving in are you <laughs> I don't, why, why am I doing this? <laughs> you Just remember, chat, if, if you ever ask why I do the things I do, I do it for you. I do it because you wanted it. Because in the back of my mind, I know that someone will be happy if I make this video. <laughs> I did it because I wanted you to like me more. And, uh, and that's my life as an influencer these days. <laughs> Oh, curse you all. Curse you all. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and level out the land because right now if we want to get water, I mean, we could put the power plant. I think we'll just put the power plant. There's not really an obvious location for it, but let's put the industrial stuff here. Although that means people need to drive through the industrial side of town. You know, let's slip off the road over here. So we'll have like you go down this street. When you're coming into town, there's still just a dock there. Whatever dock builders built this were truly determined men with the largest of trees. They probably had to staple a bunch of trees together. 18 wheelers can even get down into those turns. Sorry, I just got a text. I'm good. Um, okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and build our power plant. Oh, I still have $77,000 left. I think I gave myself about $30,000 more just to start this challenge because I didn't want everything to come crashing down immediately. <laughs> uh, so here's the plan that I'm going off of. Power and water. I mean, we could build the city without water, but... why? I mean, we'll be getting a lot of it soon. We do still have some water that hasn't evaporated from when I was setting this up. But let's go ahead and... Oh gosh, are the pipes even going to be able to reach over there due to the depth? This is a question mark. Um, uh, humana, humana, humana. You know, let's put it over here just because I seem to have a little bit more room with the land over here, the way I set things up. Um, is that cheating? 
I think that's okay. Yeah, there's literally nowhere I can put this. Okay, uh, very well then. Let's, uh, no, this is more of a diffused, uh, let's just try it. Let's go ahead and bring down the lands slightly. Maybe like, um, hmm. oh, I do have on this mod. No, I'm not supposed to be allowed to do this. Hang on a second, I have to take off this mod. So it actually, uh, actually? Accidentally, I left on my terraforming tool mod, which I'm not allowed to use for this because it makes it too easy, because it makes it free to terraform. So, I, I mean, the idea is I, I need to have to pay to do any terraforming. So let's go ahead and just continue time. And then here we go. Let that water fill in. Let the water <laughs> rectangularly fill in. There we go. Good job, water. So now we can go ahead and do this. And do we now? We should have... Yeah, there we go. We have enough room for that, barely. <laughs> And let's see if we can run the pipes down to the city. Is this also allowed? I mean, the pipes do have verticality about them. I guess we'll learn more about this now. That pipe is coming up out of the ground. Let's go ahead and page down this. Um, is this even available with this tool? That looks vaguely like it's coming down off the mountainside, doesn't it? Okay, I suppose that that is uh, acceptable. Uh, we will... <laughs> Go ahead and just do that. Because we need to supply this city with water. Because where else are we going to get it? Now, I'm just going to build a city down here. The citizens will suffer immensely, I can assure you. But it will be for the greater good. And we could do inland water treatment plants, I suppose. But, I mean, it's not very much fun. Because then we don't have just some place where we need to send all of the poop every year. So I think it would be more interesting if we at least started by trying to see if we could just massively pollute all of the land around us. Oh, also, by the way, we're not allowed to buy other chunks because that would just be such a cop-out. We need to stay in the pit. I think that that's pretty much a given if it wasn't already obvious. Um, let's go ahead and where are we going to dump it? Let's just put it by this bridge so that people, as they pay the toll for the bridge, as they pay the price for their bridge faring... Uh... Hang on a second. There we go. I'm just trying to level this. This is a slightly better way of doing this. I mean, we could also just dump it onto the land and then hope that it goes out. I'm just trying to, you know, do all the... Like, I'm a great planner is what I'm trying to say. And oh, we could dump it back onto ourselves like a big shower of crap. You know? Hmm. Hang on just a moment. I think I'm going to need to level out a little bit more here. Um, yeah, let's do that. There we go. Okay, be careful not to let in the sea. <laughs> there it is. Everything will be fine, citizens. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's try just building this up a little bit more. I should have to pay for it. There we go. All safe. Nice and safe. Okay, there we go. Good job, rectangular water. Come back. Okay, I think the whole dumping circle needs to, if I may call it that. Oh, there we go. Yes, this is allowed. There we go. <laughs> that's all it needs to be is just barely allowed. And that's fine. Okay, did that pipe? No, they did take the pipe down. However that's supposed to work, it's happening. And we will probably run a power line over there from just mid-cliff over to this side. Oh, no, the dock got in the way. I, you know, I think I want to leave the dock there. It's going to... Somehow it might save the day. All right. I think we're ready. Um, Let's just go ahead and build a, just a bunch of residences down here because most of them will die. Obviously, I'm going to build not residences over there. Eh, let's just do... We know that this is going to be industrial eventually, so we'll just do that. This is the, you know, like the bad side of town. If I may, if I may be so germane as to say. Oh, what does that even mean? What does it mean to be germane? I don't know what it is. Actually, a guy named Germain was the first person who had uh, told me to make a YouTube channel years ago. I was working in my college dining hall and he was like, man, quit this job and start a YouTube channel. I was like, okay, Germain. <laughs> and it's been exactly that way ever since. And I've never been able to find Germain again. But we had many good talks about just, like, what would you be doing if you weren't doing this? 
That's that's actually where AA began. I, I'm forgetting about this. Yes, germane, relevant to a set. Would it be relevant? I, I feel as though no one ever reaches for that word because the word relevant is just so more well-known. But germane is just such a more like uh, high society way to say it, you know? Well, then I struggled on YouTube for three years of not knowing what the heck I was doing, so... Um, let's go ahead and see if we can, um... I, I, I wouldn't have changed a thing. I think it's a fun founding story. <laughs> you play video games, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, like, wasn't able to enjoy video games anymore. I don't know why. Probably because I'm such a good person. Uh, look where all that went. Look where all that went. And now we're <laughs> flooding a city with tsunamis in video games. In video games. Raises Pinky and sips Chardonnay. Let's go ahead and just connect everything with power lines while the city is still developing. And we may also... Um, I've also unlocked milestones only just for the terraforming tools. Um, I, I believe in this. I hate it when I have to unlock more milestones. I think it's stupid, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. I mean, sometimes it's relevant, granted, but yeah, right now, I don't think it would be germane. You know? I simply don't think it would. Let's just leave those there for a second. We're making negative dollars right now as well, which isn't... That's not germane either. I'm just going to fill in the word germane when I don't know the word to say, just to piss people off. To be frank with you, I don't think that would be germane. Ironically, both of those are names of people, Frank and Germain. Oh, man, when do the puns end? This is all going so swimmingly. <laughs> oh, can this man be stopped? Why isn't anyone coming into the town? Oh, there comes the first car. Thank you. It's just an ore mining truck. Let's just see what this is. The uh, this is a risk taker. The guy driving this car. Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Owner San Vegas. That sounds like a. That sounds like a made up name. S is that your whole name? It's a cool name. San. What does San mean? Vegas means party. Vegas doesn't. What does Vegas mean? <laughs> I I have no idea what I'm talking about here. San Vegas. That just sounds like a name I would put in if I started a like a gambling a gambling ring. I would put that into the where do you go? The DMV if you want. I'm pretty sure you go to the DMV if you want to change your name. I don't know. Why I was thinking so much about this lately. I realize now though that it was crossing my thoughts. It's like should I just change my name? Just, uh, Frank Germain. That's gonna be my new name. Or Germain Frank, just to confuse people. <laughs> could, could you repeat that, please? Okay, so what are we doing to prepare for the tsunami? Oh, and also, too, I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, you know, this is a tsunami run. Where are the tsunamis, you may ask? <laughs> Look at the cards. It's like an anthill. Um, so this... <laughs> so to prepare my answer... The uh, the tsunamis will be spawned in. I wanted to say it was July 1st every year. We're going to start at a 4.0 tsunami because I was experimenting with this last night. And if we do a 1.0 tsunami, I'll just show you how disasters spawn in. There's no mod to just spawn them in automatically. So we have to do kind of a house rule here that uh, we just spawn them in ourselves. I'm going to aim it directly at the center of our town. That's the rule. Um, and... I mean, obviously we'll try to not go bankrupt and we'll try to make the town tsunami-proof because we do try at the games we play. But that being said, um, tsunami, we're going to be starting at 4 because there is enough map edge that this thing has to come off of that it's basically died down by the time it gets here. The tool does work, but it takes about 5 months for the tsunami to arrive. We did extensive testing on this yesterday. As a gamer, we did a lot of extensive testing on this yesterday. And yeah, that's what we found. It takes a while. It's it, a lot. Everyone's like, "Where did the tsunami at?" Think of it like cities, skylines, the anime. <laughs> this is becoming too culturally, uh, culturally relevant and actual. Now we aren't making any money right now. This is problematic. Uh, why aren't we making any money? We don't want to run totally out. We still have twenty nine thousand dollars. We've got about. I'm gonna keep time sped up at three times. 
Oh, we do have burgling occurring, and really this is not the best format for a city. I'm going to do boring boy grid at first, only because uh, we need to basically sacrifice a lot of people's lives to the to the god of the sea. And it, it is a rather, honestly, it is a rather cost-efficient way to create a city, I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to do it, and I mean, eventually, it's going to get interesting, though, the architecture. I never like an architecturally boring city skylines run, but... You know we're going to start with the stupid thing, and then we'll move into more and more. If you've ever seen an AA run, you know I have poor planning skills, but I have a lot of excuses for it, and that's generally where the entertainment arises. At least, I don't know, that's my best summary of my own brand on YouTube. Cringeworthy, though it may be, to summarize one's own brand. Send in the cops. Let's put them here and we'll put a crossroads. Um, let's not eat. Let's just have it be long blocks. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. Just destroy this guy's house. He doesn't need it. It's He's a millennial. He'll survive. Millennials don't need houses. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Let's keep going. Sorry, am I making you too sad? I was chatting this over with my sister. My sister and I live like kind of very different in very different areas, parts of the country. Um, and we we're just talking. That's the one thing we can kind of buy on. Like, yep, no, well, no one in our generation will ever have a house until the big crash. The, the bank runs have begun. Although I don't want to give you that. Cause, like, what is that? Like, it's fun to talk about the end of the world. There's so much of that in my YouTube recommended. I'm like, oh no. This is just a replacement for the news. How are you getting over? How are you getting through here? <laughs> this is like driving up and down the Rockies. Jesus. Have you ever driven through the mountains? <laughs> we did this when I was a kid with my mom and my aunt. Um, my aunt is a very good driver. She drives through the mountains a lot. But <laughs> every turn was like, you just saw death <laughs> right over the edge. There you go. You're in the town. <laughs> Who would move here? No, okay, so I should explain my strategy here a little bit. Um, a little bit. It's still evolving. Oh, look, the grass is growing on the inside. It is fun to watch the grass grow. I'll leave it here for a second. Okay, so the strategy is that we build up a very cheap city down here where residents, for some reason, who can't afford anywhere else... This is honestly maybe not such a bad strategy for a real country if someone start were in the business of starting a country in 2023. Um, you know, like, available property, low property values. You could probably attract a lot of Americans to come in, you know? What, with the housing market? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So you start a country, you sell people a lot of low-value homes, and then you collect their taxes, and then the big wave hits because the mayor has been running on a platform of, I'm going to send a tsunami to the town every year, and I will live for the next hundred years. And then for some reason, people voted him in. And that's the story of how this playthrough begins. However, all that being said, uh, you know, we'll eventually start building up the town. Now, this did happen. I've described some of you guys how I lived through Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> not, not really a major feat, but I don't know. That is just a, a poorly phrased sentence. Yes, I, I, I'm pretty sure almost everyone lived. Were there any... I think a couple, I think there may have actually been a few casualties from Hurricane Sandy. I mean, it, it seemed like an inconvenience to a lot of people who lived around, but yeah, like we didn't have anything for weeks. There were like looters in my town and stuff like that. But anyway, that is to say, um, living through a na natural disaster makes you realize that, oh yeah, uh, uh, all the nice houses in town are built on elevation. <laughs> so we had some elevation. We weren't like at, in the pit of the town. <laughs> But yeah, there were just whole neighborhoods that were very hoity-toity that didn't get any water. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, uh, darn you. Darn you and your upper class. <laughs> Whatever, now I'm getting a massive chip on my shoulder. But yeah, I, I, uh, I, I had to move away from there. Ironically, then everyone raised their houses and then everyone's just mired in wealth somehow due to FEMA. That's how natural disasters sometimes work, though. Like... Property values in the town just go plummeting, and then they rise back up if people build back up, or if artists move in, or something like that. Cheap land. It's interesting. It's the cycle. Hmm. 
Sorry to get all preachy on you. I just find this stuff interesting. Maybe it's as I get older, I start to find it more interesting. Like, oh, that's how what I was learning in economics. I, I know a lot of you guys know me as like the very literary dude, but I also did study econ. Actually, I also studied economics in college. It's a very interesting pursuit, though. Like very interdisciplinary. Everyone should learn some civics. Let's put the dump right at the greeting to town just to keep expectations low. There we go. Don't expect too much here uh, in Seattle. There's no space needle. It's really just a space pit. Uh, it's not going to space either. It's just an ocean. It's just a sad place. We <laughs> we have group therapy. <laughs> why, why do I feel so low? Because you are so low, literally and figuratively. That'll be $30. That'd be a pretty good price. I'd probably go to that. Actually, it's going to cause so much traffic at that entrance. Do you think I'm trying to make an efficient city? Most of them won't survive anyway. I mean, they'll get into the town. They're not going anywhere, though. Not to, you know, not to <laughs> dissuade you from trying to help me. I'm going to need it. But we're at, we are at May now, so we're going to be thinking, let's see. Uh, it's going to be in about two and a half months. We're going to launch a 4.0 tsunami at the town. So hopefully we'll have earned some money. What I think this is probably going to do is wash out the town, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, we might need to make a couple of slight adjustments, granted. Oh, let's also just go ahead and save. I want to say, um, uh, town started. Uh, generally speaking, City Skylines footage takes up a lot of space in my computer because it's like, it's a 3D game, and there's a lot going on here, and I tend to film lossless when I'm doing it for a challenge, which takes up these huge video file sizes. Um, this is, like, bitrate the way it works. It's annoying to explain, but it took me a while to figure it out. Basically, it means the amount of detail. Like, if there's a lot of motion like this, the whole stream just went blurry there for a second in the VOD, and now it's probably crystal clear because the screen is clear. But that is to say, City Skylines is quite a demanding game when you're filming video, so I tend to save save points, just so I can come back and film them individually. Um, it's a good way to manage your hard drive space while... Actually? I don't know, I'm such a nerd. I am, I am a nerd. Take pride in it. Take pride! Stick out your chest! Stick out your chest, boy! Hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, residential zones, we'll keep time sped up, and we'll just try to get as many people. I'm not sure if I should really worry about these dead people, and we might end up needing to install the mod that allows us to just destroy everything, because probably most of these houses are going to get wiped out. Now, the goal here is to keep building. Like, all these people are thinking, oh my gosh, wow, what a deal. What a great value on a house we got. It was like $50 for the house. They built a whole house there. The house cost maybe like, I don't know. What do you think these house costs build? Like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars. They, these are like old, kind of older homes. Some of them look a little bit nicer. Like that guy, I'm gonna feel bad for. But he is located right in the center of town, so maybe he'll survive. Look, the people are walking. Now, there's gonna be a massive exodus. Although the dump will survive, probably with most of the garbage. That will be the one thing that'll build up. I hadn't thought of that. And we shouldn't have even worried about the garbage. Yeah, you know, um. Nah, let's just leave a dump at the front. That's fine. As an homage to just being garbage. All the days of our lives. Let's keep built, putting people into the town. There we go. Alright, now I want some jazz. I want some smooth jazz. Oh, yes. This is one of my favorites. We have the Houston River <laughs> Jazz Collective. There will be only water-themed names to our jazz uh, quartets and trios for the rest of this. Actually, I installed a mod. I installed a mod that lets all the names be clever. Nothing suspicious about the cheap housing in this perfectly square pit. <laughs> oh, you know what we could have named it? Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm a I'm a lyrical genius. Uh, 
Oh my god. Uh, it's like when Eminem makes food puns. Just the whole song. I'm, I'm like tossing a salad by the end of the song. <sighs> Eminem, I, I have my souffle ready. Especially moderate. Well, then there is. No, it all began at Lose Yourself. Mom's Spaghetti. That's where it began. Can you guys listen to Eminem? I just get hungry when I'm listening to Eminem. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when this became a thing. Am I the only one who. Orange door hinge? Was he the one who created that? <laughs> Seattle. I'll name the next city Pittsburgh. I mean, this city was about the sea. <laughs> Pittsburgh. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I hadn't thought of that. Let's build another one of these. A cheap, everything we're going cheap. And then once we start to raise the land, then we'll start building a nice city higher up. And I think we could start to delete some of these power lines. Although, we may need them when we restore the city. Eh, let's just find out what happens. Yeah, we don't need those. Yeah, save some money. <laughs> It'll be fine. There we go. Okay, I can just click and drag now. I do love how the music just contrasts with the dystopian nature of what's being had. Okay, so we're going to be launching the tsunami in about 30 seconds. Because it is going to take that long for it to get here. We want it to arrive around the new year every year. July 20th, we're looking at month... Or, uh, day, then month, then year. Right. Six. Five. Takes about three seconds. Four. Three. Oh, wait, there's 31 days. Three. Two. I forgot to count the other one. Two. One, I'm going to do it right now anyway. Okay, so that is a 4.0 tsunami. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm coughing so much. ASMR AA coughing stream. When will be the next one? Uh, we'll see it out there, but it's going to take about five months. So, I mean, in the meantime, we're pretty much just building up the rest of the town. There's a lot of dead people piling up here and abandoned buildings. I think we'll give them a crematorium. Yeah, let's try to keep... Let's try to just... Nah, wait a minute. How much money do you need for a crematorium? $25,000? Really? Actually? All right, I'll give them some basic services that they do need. Only because, look, if we put a graveyard in there, they're... I mean... They'll be done with it soon. And, you know, all of these permanently dead people, it's like, how many of them do I really want to sustain? Well, not really want to. I mean, I want to help, but how many am I really able to sustain? Let's go ahead and do that. Happy faces spread like disease. There we go. Get that thermometer out of your mouth. You're not sick. You just don't want to show up to work. Work harder. Come in today. Work. I'll just destroy the building if there's a dead person in it. Somebody died in the building, therefore the building causes death. It's basically bloodletting in the 2023 equivalent. All these dead people dying in buildings. <laughs> it's like per someone using statistics wrong. <laughs> the killer was riding a bicycle when he was a child. Therefore, <laughs> riding a bicycle causes you to be a murderer. We must ban biking. Correlation is not causation. Pe I mean, it's not even correlated. That's just stupid, but... Sorry, I love, like, pseudo-rational thinking. It's one of my favorite practices to engage in. Sometimes it affects my own real-life logic, though. Sense of what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I wrote a bite. So everyone's now questioning themselves. You... You fiend! You monster! How could you ride a bicycle? Don't you know that causes you to become... Murderously violent? There is biking in this game. Look at this happy town. Where is the tsunami? I'm forgetting about it now. Oh, no. The poop will probably come into the town via the tsunami. I hadn't thought of what will happen with this. I'm going to practice some faux naivete here, though, and pretend that I don't know about inland water treatment plants. Just because I think it makes it so much more interesting and adds to the challenge. Still no tsunami, but like I said, it takes about six months for the thing to arrive. And it's going to be broken up, too. Okay. In the meantime, 
Establish some water supply. You know, it also occurs to me that I will never be able to clean up the poop, so it's just going to be floating around for the rest of the playthrough, because we're staying in this one cell. Uh, I didn't really need to do that, but I guess I'll just build it over there anyway. Let's just build a massive, horrible grid city, because I'm basically going to destroy this place. Man, I always get these comments from... And I'm not saying that all European folks do this, but I have, like, a contingent of angry Europeans who just like to say mean things about America, and I'm like, I didn't decide this. I like your way, too. I wish I could ride a bike through town. But then some people act as though we all consciously decided to drive Ford F-150s and live on grid-based property forever and drive everywhere. I like a walkable town, too. It would be nice. But it's the town I'm going to destroy, and not because I hate my... Not because I hate my country with the grid-based American. Uh, some of it is grid-based, though. This isn't even American. This is just uncreative of me. Not all of them are European, either. But a lot of them are. <laughs> mm. And then you wouldn't even believe the comments I get from Americans. That's right, I'm, I'm doling out the, the justice evenly. Usually, <laughs> usually it's something I don't know about guns. Uh, <laughs> there, I said it. I'm not saying that all Americans are just shooting guns off outside of their homes all the time. What I'm saying is that some of them are. <laughs> I I don't know what I'm talking about. Coffee. Here we go. Coffee ad. Coffee. That's a great segue. The age -old Italian tradition. The weed is over. It's finally all that here. jazz. Hmm. Yes, I apologize if I sound massively culturally ignorant. It has occurred to me since I moved across the country and went to Europe that I know nothing about the world. So I'm just an idiot. Don't listen to me. Uh, the town is burning. Hopefully the tsunami will come soon. Uh, where is it? Right, we're in October, so it should be... We're still not seeing the full zoomed out view. Man, this is the most depressed announcer. Alright, but we are making the monies now. <laughs> my gun belt ammo, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just insert memes here. The, the worst part of the internet is you can never tell who is who is actually from where. I could just lie to you. I could be have been lying to you all for the last five years. And now I'm not actually from the United States. I'm from Canada. And I just blend in very well. Ha 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 Like a more evolved version of an American. <coughs> Excuse me. Disable commercials just from deleting them from your directory. Really? Oh, thanks, DJ. Jeez. I, I like arguing with the radio, though. No, maybe it's just grown familiar to me. I'll take Mars for a little while. I mean, it does kind of build up the tension as the tsunami comes. Let's go. Well, you can sometimes see it on the horizon. I think that's it right there. I think that small boy wave is it. But I'm just going to look around a little bit more. See how there's no raised thing on the, on the horizon to the other sides? I could be mistaken. But yeah, I don't seem to see that maybe there. Oh, there's just a ship washed up. Okay. That's happening. Yeah, I think it's that. I know it looks very distant, but it is getting closer. Let's just see if we can zoom out for a second. Is that it? No, that's... It could be. Now, I've not seen that ship wash up yet, but that's a thing. Oh, yeah, it could be coming from the poop side. Why is the entire city on fire? Oh, yeah, because we never were able to afford a... Um... <laughs> oh, the power plant went on fire. This is unexpected? Darn. Fortunately, they had so many of them. Man, I wish I had thought of not letting the power plant get set on fire. Do we have enough money to begin the city again? Unfortunately, now all of the water is gone. Wow, that was such an unfortunate fire. I've never had one that bad before. Oh no, I wonder if we'll have to take out a loan. Does it rebuild itself and it's just fine? We actually need to rebuild it. Operating normally. 
The power has been restored. Citizens return to your homes. The tax collectors will be around momentarily. But one of the power plants is still on fire. Come on, put that out, boys. There we go. Now, why is there no water for anyone? Drink up. Drink up while you still can. There it goes. Good. All right, now this is getting annoying. Okay, good. That is merry music to have a tsunami to. Still out there. All right, well, we'll just stop checking on it for a second. I'm going to wait to make sure that it worked out. Okay, uh, I was not able to spot the tsunami from the correct direction, but this is it. It's not a very big one, but this is a broken up tsunami. Uh, this is why I had to spread them in. I mean, keep in mind, this is the least intense of the tsunamis that we will experience. But here it comes for the town. It is rising up with the land. It's really little more than just kind of a shallow wave right here. But every year it's going to rise by a half a point in intensity. So, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. <laughs> It, it, again, it will raise in intensity, so this is a pretty small one to start with. I promise it gets better, but yeah, what did I tell you? Like five months for this thing to get here. So it just goes over the power line, spills over the edge. I wonder how they'll handle the water, or if we'll need to get water pumping stations. Okay, so clearly having your house on the edge of town was not the ideal move. I love it how we have a coast guard in this town. <laughs> About <laughs> a tsunami is more just a waterfall in this town. Uh, I mean, our water source is doing well. Although when the tsunami kind of drains out, there might be like a wave or a moment where we don't have water. Most of the town was okay, though, from tsunami number one. But yeah, I think that was perfectly good timing. Look, how good is your boy's timing? It's literally New Year's and the tsunami is arriving. I am such a smart person. Wow. Yeah, I mean, like, we could we could turn this side of the town into a pond that would, to be fair, raise property values nearby so that we offset the losses of our property value and then we continue collecting taxes from the rich over here with their beautiful scenic view of the wreckage. I mean, I'm not saying it's a perfectly moral solution, but... It does solve our fiscal issues, which there's something at least to be said about that. Some of them. Um, okay, so... Yeah, like I was saying, you know, I'm thinking that we want to build up, like, a huge mound in the middle of the town. Usually they call these things, um, hills. And then we'll start with that, and then maybe since the water has gotten over, what we might end up doing... <coughs> Rather than trying to raise the side of town is just to make it like a big moat. You know, maybe the moat will defend us from the tsunami. I don't truly know, but I'm going to learn it quite a bit from this playthrough. Now, keep in mind, you might think to yourself, oh, that was just a little bit of water, AA. Eh? It gets worse every single year until we're at 10 intensity tsunamis every single year. And then we're going to start bringing in even more disasters. That's that's the other plan for this playthrough. So, yeah, it's it's never going to get less intense. It will just keep getting worse every single year. I have... Uh, we decided that the other day. Meteor into the ocean, you name it. It should be it should be a time. But yeah, that was year one, so we have ninety-nine more of those to go. Did I save there? Oh no, I forgot to save the tsunami results one, I guess. Again, keeping some save files, mostly just a lot of water in everyone's basement. We lost a little bit of momentary tax revenue, but it looked like they could for the most part just bail themselves out from that one. More of a big wave. Continuing on. Okay, now we have a lot of dead people, but we have $45,000. Wow, amazing. I've never, ever seen a death before. I don't think I ever have seen a death before. Like, I've never even been with a relative when they died. I just heard about it. You know? I'm trying to think. I don't even think I've seen a... I don't think I've been... I've been around after a birth. Man, I should go to the hospital today, see some of that, you know? They say it builds character. To see the births and the deaths. Did anyone die from that or did they just move out? 
Sorry to bring everybody down. You know, it's just the miracle of life. There we go. Most of the people seem to be dying in the industrial part of town because it's just bad and dirty over there. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, Rack, Rack Unicorn. Thank you very much for the sub. And Cake Boss. And Hall and Wood. Hang on a second. Were my alerts off or was I just... I was just being a smooth brain. And uh, Loco Smoko. Thank you very much for the subs. Pay pumping station in a lower canal. Possibly. Quite possibly. Possibly? That might work. Give it a try. I think for right now we might not even need... We could do that as like a momentary way of saving part of the town. There goes all the pollution in the bad part of town. Let's just continue building out our scuffed grid. So now the next tsunami is going to be a 4.5, and we'll release that in July of this year. Right now we're already in February, so I mean we gotta get a we gotta get a move on. Every year we gotta get the city stronger. Otherwise, before too long, we're going to be experiencing a massive tsunami. What did I say? How many of you guys are just just gone by now? How many times have I said tsunami in the stream? You might need to switch beverages. Hang on a second. Uh, okay, water. What are you waiting for? I wonder if we could fit another one of those things in there. Let's first try to raise the budget. Water budget. There we go. 150%. Water, you wait. There we are. Swimmingly. Swimmingly. Casey Wookie, thank you very much for the prime. Might be uh be met by the police if it's <laughs> There are no police in this town though. Where are the police? I am the state. Man, now I'm sad that I didn't make it Pittsburgh. Well, it won't be a pit by the time we're done. Ideally. If everything goes as I'm planning, then it should end well. I'm always, like, oddly disappointed when a playthrough just ends with the goal, so I try to just ruin it in some way at the end. Like, and then we won the challenge! Nobody wants to see that. It's too predictable. Hang on a second. Okay, yeah, now we do need more real water. Water? <gasps> uh, why? Oh, no, we, now we need more power. It's power that we need. More power! Are we able to deliver coal to these things? Let's just keep doing it. Just keep going. Oh no, we can't afford it. Uh, how much is it? 19,000. Cheap coal power. And we have the fire station to put it out. Okay, there we go. We're good now. Um, yeah, we've already raised to max funding, so let's do this. Do it. Uh, do we have too much garbage? 42% full already. Uh-oh. This is basically, this is, <laughs> can you imagine if they didn't like a special on, um, I don't know, one of those PBS news hour things like, welcome to Seattle. <laughs> Poor civil engineering techniques have made this town at the forefront of sociologists' <laughs> concern of the rising sea levels. And then they show like the harbor of the town, kids playing at it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's what I feel like all the videos are turning into. This is turning into an economics channel. Though there was a dude, uh, we were talking about, like, interesting paradox stuff the other day, and City Skylines too. There is a channel, like, um, it's sort of like Economics Explained. But he does, um, he uses City Skylines to, um, explain everything. I'm trying to remember the name of this channel. I think it starts with the letter P. It's very cool, though. You should check it out. I wanted to try something, like, of that bent... Maybe when we started doing all of the kind of economically themed challenges. Although I, I think it's fun to swap out the natural disaster stuff too, because that's just a spectacle. It's interesting. <laughs> this game does that well. Okay, so I, I would save again. Yeah, we're, um, I guess we're at like 101 now, we'll call it, because we're on, hey, how am I going to name these things? Or, or we'll just name it after the year that we're in, 2001. Like Britney Spears is still popular and stuff. Um, maybe Good Charlotte. Uh, Grid Town continues, I guess. I'm just trying to give them names so that I can come back to them and kind of remember what was happening, because I'll have a lot of hours of gameplay by the time I'm done with this. Yeah, Simple Plan is on the rise. 
Another day is going by. A tsunami's on the way. Uh, I, to this guy, I don't know. Um, <laughs> net, 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 net. That was a simple plan song. I was getting back into this stuff. I've last year after my big nostalgia run, I was playing all these old games. PS2. I was playing Aggressive Inline. That was a great game. Aggressive Inline. I loved that. I would gladly do a retrospective on old fantasy sports games. That's the one bit of content I never got to in our big kind of nostalgia hit from last year was uh, like SSX Tricky and all of those. I do love those games a lot. Like they're very special to me. But sometimes, uh, as, a, as a gamer... Sometimes it's important for me to just not make content on a couple of games because they're, uh, like, I just kind of play them for myself, not for any result that I get from them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to feel like a transaction in some way, which I feel is though only because I spend about a week with a game when I make a video on it and I, like, I labor at it to try to make it into something interesting. Which, maybe I'm starting to go back over to the Twitch model of doing things, because I just feel like, I don't know, we're kind of hanging out when I do these. And I've gotten a lot more enjoyment out of it lately. I didn't really used to think about this, because I had my old career in perspective, like, oh, I'm just playing video games. But now I suppose after two years, the one thing that's occurred to me about YouTubing, and just kind of life in general, which is sort of a zen lesson that I've learned, is... I mean, like, I'll talk with my friends about this, and they're like, Rob, you busy working? And I'm like, yeah, I'm working. <laughs> like, I'm working on a video. But even if your job is, like, eating ice cream, everything sort of turns into a... Like, happiness is a choice, is what I'm trying to say. There's no result. Like, as a YouTuber, I guess, not every day... Like, I do wake up with the everyday excitement, but it sometimes feels silly to convince people that not every day of your life is just, like, ecstatic pleasure playing video games. Like, there is, there is an... Intel Actually? As a gamer? Oh, no, is the poop overflowing here? <laughs> But I mean, I get to say wonderful things like that. So I'm like, ah, oh, this is amazing. Now, the one thing that's occurred to me recently, and I think that this is something that's happening to a lot of people in, I suppose, Gen Z, which I am very close to being a Gen Z. I'm, I'm technically a millennial. Actually, I'm a millennial. But, um, yeah, you just, like, you need to have a lot of time outside doing stuff. Uh, I spent a lot of time just on my own last year, and I don't know, I've just done a lot more, uh, I pretty much, like, get out to just try to exercise with other people every single day, if I can. Um, and I think, I think that's, that's a life, like, that's an ikigai kind of lesson. I don't know why I'm getting all, like, a philosopher on you here, but, yeah. Felt like sharing, felt like sharing that in the circle for discussion. Although this channel has always kind of been like that. Like, even the PZ playthrough with Gerald Williams. Like, that was just kind of an an outward, uh... Hang on a second. We've got two more months until the, um... Until you know what. Okay, there's doo-doo everywhere. <laughs> um, okay, now I will begin with the inland water treatment plant because I don't want this to get too out of hand. I think it's good for a display of my power. But... Inland water treatment plant. Although this too could get flooded. <laughs> oh no. No, I was born in 94. What is Gen Z? 97? Mainly that they can't remember the world before the internet. I remember my mom on AOL and stuff like that. <coughs> I remember AIM, Instant Messenger. We use that. Typing all my messages in, in all caps. I say, is this actually connected? It seems to be. I work pro bono. <laughs> Eating ice cream is my job. <laughs> oh, Jet Set Radio Future. You know, Jet Set Radio Future is another one I wanted to do. I think you can record that only on the original Xbox. I never played that game, but it looked so good. Um, I believe it's really expensive to get a copy now. Like, some of that I can justify because, you know, if I make content on it, it's like, technically, it's part of my job, so. Na -na 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 -na. But some things like, uh, like, take Earthbound and Harvest Moon, I could never possibly justify that. It's just like, it just feels so silly. 
So I got them on the Wii U Virtual Console. Because someday I want to do them. Okay, our water situation is not looking too particularly good here. Let's see if we can install another one of these things. Is this just... Yeah, we've got the power. We need the water, though. So we get that one to work. Let's, um... Hmm, we do start to create little issues here. Let's see if we can hollow out some of this. I know it's... I'm a risk... I feel like such a risk taker here. <laughs> we'll just take out a little bit of the side of the island. <laughs> see how that goes. Oh my god. Uh, how far down do we want to go? I guess we can just copy and paste. There we go. That's enough. That's uh, just about enough. There we go. Okay, fill in water. Fill in water. How long do I think it'll be before they release Cities Skylines 2? Uh, I have no idea. I genuinely don't know. Oh gosh. I know it sounds like I'm trying to keep a secret there, and now me saying this makes it sound like I know even more. I would just guess, I don't know, like Q3, Q4, Christmas season kind of thing, but I genuinely have no idea. Man, how how good am I at not sounding suspicious? You guys know I've done a lot of stuff with Paradox. I genuinely don't know, though. You could take, you could take my word. Oh no, now I sound even more suspicious. See, if I did know, then it would be more bad if I make it, if I made a prediction, wouldn't it? So that's why I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but they did say, what did they say, 2023? Well, when do you guys think it'll come out? I'm excited for it. My one thing on my wish list is I do hope that they re-release all of the City Skylines 1 content in some big ultimate package or something like that, just because I think it would be so special to own it, like, I don't know, for Switch or something. Although mods are a lot of fun of this game, I just kind of like the collectability aspect of it. And I, I think they have really good guidance as a company, Paradox. Um, they've been one of the best people to work with over the years just because they give you a lot of creative freedom on projects. And I don't know, it helped me grow as a YouTuber. I I did, um, I'd been working them through them through a referral I got from Spiffing Brit uh, since the beginning of 2021. And honestly, they, one of their guys uh, just kept like pitching really good games to me that helped me expand out into variety so i'm i'm very thankful for what i've uh gotten to do with them it's it's been a, a pleasure and i you know i didn't originally feel super nostalgic for oh wait hang on a second we have about one more month until we launch tsunami 4.5 i'm just gonna keep on building up this horrible city and not really taking care of the residents until we fully filled out the area i guess i should just explain that but um, then at that point, we're going to start building up. Maybe when we have some corner. I think we'll do it right about here. Although I don't want to start spending the money on terraforming until we've maxed out those taxpayer dollars. The one thing that we should also check for, though, is water pumping station. Um, where do we have that again? I can't remember exactly where that is. I'm going to need to find it. No, that's advanced inland water treatment plant. We need, like, natural disaster response. Is it this... Um, Disaster? No, not disaster response. I mean, that's gonna, that's not gonna help us very much. Yeah, does anyone remember which tab that is? I, I do need help there. Sounds very ambiguous. I know, I, I'm really the king of sounding suspicious when I'm trying not to sound suspicious. Which is ironic, because then no one can ever believe anything I say. And that just leads people to not trust me, and then I, I just go about the rest of my day. <laughs> I mean, that ambiguous paradoxical amphibian. Mm, the one thing I, I do really like, though, is I feel as though they still have the option, and I know that a lot of AA gaming... Oh, hang on a second. They're basically like a AA studio. A lot of AAAs have kind of gone over to subscription models, which I'm not a huge fan of. Some people like them. I mean, I kind of like owning the product at the end of the day as like a physical thing. Um, but I mean, on the other hand, it's DLC, so you're buying a lot of it. And usually by the time that they get to the end of a game, you know, like they release it in one big package at a discount. So I do like that. And I love it when they release it physically. Have I mentioned that I love physical game collecting? I love it so much. I need more of it. Yeah, Tsunami might help them get some water. For right now, why uh, why aren't these people getting water? Oh, because we didn't power this thing. Whoops-a-daisy. 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 Sorry, I forgot to power your house. Oh my gosh. 
Coming over for dinner tonight. There we go. Hopefully the tsunami won't come in from over there. There we go. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Man, is something wrong with me? Digital only consoles. My favorite is the Retron 5. That thing is so cool. You guys got to check that thing out. I've become a big, like, old game collector ever since we started doing The Sims and stuff last year. Which I'm, I'm happy where, I'm very happy with where the channel's at in terms of, like, the content I can cover. I can cover old nostalgic stuff and new stuff like this. I'm a happy boy. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do for this year. I keep trying to reinvent it in some way every year. I don't know. I feel like I've learned a lot on the platform doing this. It's just, you got to keep it engaging for yourself. Whatever type of... Whatever type of work you're doing, that is to say, you know, eating ice cream for a living, it's just got to be like, I don't know, intellectual. Actually, it has to be intellectually stimulating for you. Like, I, I enjoy thinking of how will this challenge outdo the last one. And sometimes people think that leads YouTubers to like burn out. But it, you just got to keep finding new ideas and finding new wrinkles. And then, oh, I, I broke open this, like, uh, area of creativity i don't know it, it is a a sublimely creative platform and it's exciting when something uh it's exciting when a lot of people enjoy something that you made and you you feel um i don't know like creative validation for that like ah i can trust myself you know <laughs> you know well I, the other thing too is i would say one thing for people in school hang on a second we're okay we're at eight thirteen. we have to launch the tsunami now it's time the time has come. The only class that helped me in college, really, and ironically, I didn't think it would, was like creative writing types of things. But now I'm kind of tooting my own horn a lot here. I just like to talk about this stuff. Helps, helps me think through the stuff that I do. Um, Could we just destroy a lot of people's houses? Would that be cheaper than... Do you think this is how city planners consider how to respond to natural disaster? Would it be better to just destroy everyone's house? Yes. Good. Good. I don't even know if this is going to work. Let's just try it. There we go. Just cut across town. We'll get to it eventually. <laughs> it's also, just, just destroy the fire. Oh, no. We can't do that. Never mind. All right, that'll probably help them get there faster. Where are the fire? Where are the fire department at? I think we're gonna need another one anyway. <laughs> oh well, uh, it it was the industrial. Oh darn it! No, that's not what I meant to do. Well, we'll put that in because we'll need to bury some of the people probably, right? Oh look, we can still afford a fire department. How lucky are we? Wow. I did, okay, I did launch the second tsunami, so let's uh, give that a little bit of time to come in. Hang on a second. Uh, 2001, second tsunami launched. <laughs> the mayor just gets on a megaphone. I have sent it. <laughs> like He stands up there where the road meets it, <laughs> like in his imperial robe. <laughs> I have sent the tsunami to the town, all the people in the town. Like, cheer, because they're in a cult that worships the tsunami. Yes, praise the sea. <laughs> like, it's like one of those end-of-the-world scenarios where they don't know. They've given up on trying to get rid of the problem, so they just start worshipping it. <laughs> they all could just stand outside their houses like Florida Man, you know? Like, with an, waving an American flag and jet skiing through the middle of the street. <laughs> With the water beneath them and like electric poles down. Uh, this is. I would like. St that would be my request for what types of things do I want to see in city skylines, too. A little bit more. <laughs> I wonder what. How. I wonder how it'll in reinvent the old formula. I mean, I, I kind of. I find the graphics here and. I'm only talking about this because they just recently launched City Skylines too, so I suppose in the future this will seem awfully naive. Um, I I don't I don't really feel like I need better graphics from the game. I like the kind of vibe of the Americana, although you can change the 
style of the buildings a bit. I mean, I think that the, the original game just offered so many choices if you wanted to plan out something that looks like a real city. Like, actual city planners use this game. I, I mean, you know, tongue-in-cheek a little bit here, but I've read about it being used for, like, example demonstration purposes. I, I think even more of that, so that you could get even more in the weeds with stuff, without mods. Better graphics a little bit. I mean, they could use a bit of an update. I know I just said they don't need it, but... Yeah. And, I don't know, a lot of people have asked for more town variety, like the plazas and promenades DLC kind of added it. I hope that there's a lot of content like that, but that's what it would be on my wish list. Anyone else have any speculations? All your dreams end with a tsunami coming? That might be... Do you, like, wet yourself at the end of the dreams? I feel like that would happen to me. <laughs> Like, ah, uh, like, and then I felt a great warmth in my pants, and then I woke up, and it wasn't actually a tsunami. I had just had a lot of water before I went to bed. <laughs> I, I kind of want, although here would be my ridiculous feature requests. Zombie apocalypse, plague ink style, um, like, spreading of contagions throughout the town, simulating that type of thing. Um, yeah, like, imagine combining all of the weirdo stuff in Crusader Kings 2 with cities skylines and that's pretty much what's on my wish list oh maybe even different eras can you imagine how cool that would be although i think they do it really well with modern times and that might be too much in one game but can you imagine i personally think only because paradox has kind of expanded out into indie game publishing i think it would be neat personally if someone were to make more well i guess it's just colony sort of simulations I was thinking of saying medieval city builder, but that is kind of a, an oxymoron. I mean, there weren't really big cities. There were more. Uh, they were there weren't cities on this scale. I really don't know anything about history, so just don't listen to me. But I mean, there there weren't. This wasn't in his, uh, medieval history. That is to say. Okay, so we sent the tsunami. Are we seeing the tsunami yet? It should be probably taking a few more months. There it is. Okay. We can already see it off on the horizon. Look, it's always just an ominous sort of line that looks like a ripple. Oh, what's that? You know? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. I can see Tsunami West. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Cities Pilgrims, that kind of thing. City Planner myself used this to demonstrate how different road intersections were. Oh, very cool. Yeah, there's so much more you can do to get into the, uh, in the weeds in this game. I don't really do it, but City Planner Plays does it, and people like uh, Biffa. Also, just great YouTubers uh, you should check out. Road 35, thank you very much for the prime. Why are the tsunamis so slow? Have you ever seen a fast tsunami? How many tsunamis have you seen? Because they have bad cardiovascular vascular fitness. Yeah, it does take a... Well, oh, uh, actually, to be fair, the reason why they don't appear right away is because the map is so big in the game and they spawn from off-screen at a map edge. So I've been spawning them, like, earlier. Hang on a second. Why is there no... Why is there no power? I have to stop doing that voice. Um, um, let's just continue with the cheap stuff. I mean, that road so far... The road has been strong. The road has survived. Let's just build our fourth power plant. That should clear up the water. There it goes. There it goes. Should we just leave the sick people? Leave them. Do it. Like Palpatine now. Okay, there it goes. It is washing over the islands. So this one is going to... I love it how every single time it's stricken a slightly different part of town. I just have to remember to save the game right before it comes in. It's like NASA engineer. Oh, well, wait a minute now. I didn't say... I'm you talking about social change. Man, everybody takes everything... They take it home and they tell their parents a different way. No, I swear to God, I didn't... They didn't learn the entire civil engineering curriculum from City Skylines. Actually, I played like 1,300 hours of City Skylines, so I could plan a real city. Leave me to build the bridge. <laughs> 
I love when we get into these nefarious back and forth chat. Although there's always someone who takes it very seriously in the comments section. Hey, as as a gamer, I was I was offended by this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I think we've mostly weeded those people out of the comments now. <laughs> At the time, it would be a capital of biggest capital empire was one million. Really. That would be kind of cool, though. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, maybe my ignorance has led me to a new good idea. I, I'm a good idea guy. I don't. It's not based in much fact. No knowledge of city planning. NASA to show Cape versus Sh Ker Kerbal would be comparable. Fair, fair. I'll allow it. Chat. Have have a real debate with my fake debate. I deceive you. That's my. That's the art of deception. Every video has been just a, a setup, a setup since the beginning. Okay, now this is rather impressive. Uh, hang on a sec. Impressive. There we go. That is impressive. There is an impressive tsunami. Now this is a 4.5 scale. So the reason why it has different heights is because of the islands around it. And when it hits the island, the tsunami gets weaker because it's nice to the island. And it's not as nice to the water because it picks up the water. And that's how the science of it works. Guys. Okay, so we need more industrial zones. So I think we'll just start planning these right now. You know, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, just do that. Just put it over there right by everyone's house. All these sick people, just get rid of them. There we go. You're not sick anymore. You don't even have a house anymore. We just took it away. Good job. Now we're... Oh, we haven't had that for a while. I guess I should bring back the music. Feeling so oddly comfortable here, though. Now this feels too hopeful, like the city's doing fine. There we go. The Houston River Jazz Collective right on time for the water. There it comes. Tsunami number two. This is only year two out of a hundred, guys. What will happen next? Oh, no. The Seattle Coast Guard. What a perfectly timed piano. Strike. Oh no, it's giving me an individual notification for everything we... Why did we build the city this way? Oh no. I expect like Nat King Cole to start singing in the background. This is already quite bad. We're out of taxpayer money. Fortunately. In this game, bulldozing is free. Should we just build out this, the town to the other side? Using man-made islands? No, we have to stay in one... We just have to take the hit. Guys, the tsunami challenge isn't about avoiding the tsunami. It's about, like, bracing oneself for the sublime uh, power and force of nature. This was way too much, but I'm glad. This is... Mm, that is the end of the, our challenge, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just lose all of the taxpayer money. Let's just lower the whole budget. I mean, this isn't going particularly well. We just need to... Um, I don't really want to have to rebuild everything, but let's just lower everything for a minute, because we might as well lower the losses. <laughs> and just let's also clean out taxpayer dollars from their pockets so that everyone knows that as soon as a... Ta as soon as a tsunami is coming, we just tax the hell out of everyone while they leave town. Uh, we don't have any of those. It's fine. We'll just, it's very. It's still cheap here. It's still cheap. Just for nothing that we have zoning for. You get to the town, they start up their business. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. We'll just clean out their pockets, and there it goes. Now, I wonder where the, all the water will go. Now, I suppose that the goal will be every year to just save up a lot of money. Hang on a second. Who still dares to have a business? Somehow, I, the ice cube factory is fine. <laughs> That's such an ironic factory to have survive. I uh, guess a toll for evacuating the city. That would be perfect. And the, gar and the landfill is 100% full. Yeah, it makes sense that the ice cube factory would survive. That's literally the only building 
And this guy's house, the Emerson residence. Um, recede. Define recede here. Now, when I had originally set up this channel, they're still trying to get in to pay 29% tax. Look, they're, <laughs> they're going down. Uh, okay, so let's wait a little while. It's only going to get worse. We do have $45,000, but now we're bleeding capital. Hang on a second. I should consider what I'm going to do here. We've lost almost our entire population. We could take out a loan, to be fair. $200,000 loan. I think we've squeezed them clean enough. Now let's start to get the demand back up. I'll leave it at nine. Leave it at nine. Come, my citizens, join the wave worship society. I wonder if I upped the difficulty too much, too fast. But I'm happier with that rather than 99 years of nothing. Everyone's disappointed, came for tsunamis, just saw nothing. Okay, so will the water evaporate? First off, we need to go ahead and bulldoze. I might need to install the automatic bulldozing mod. Yeah, actually, hang on a second. Let me just go ahead and do that right now. I need auto bulldoze. I'll be right back in a second. I, I'm not going to live like this, chat. The bulldozing is being done automatically for me so that I can just wait that out. I really That would be pure pain. Because who wants to live through that BS? No. All right, well, let's see if people move back into the town now. Is it worth it to destroy all of the power plants? And um, we're probably going to need power lines. Ice cube factory still churning them out. The box factory? So we could put the ice cubes into boxes. People could still wear clothes. Is there any way? Well, the water of, I mean, technically the water does evaporate to a certain extent, but this is a lot. We're already at a, well, we're only in January. It's 2002. Is there another one? No, there's not another one. Man, it's gonna be significantly worse when the poop side hits the town. All right, um, I'm gonna see how long it takes this to evaporate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or can we start? We do have $37,000. I mean, I don't want to be uncreative. I mean, these people are still paying taxes. What are What is our tax collection still at? I'm liking the challenge, though. Honestly? Very exciting. Uh, I don't think that we need the fire department at all anymore, and clearly this is going to wipe out the entire town, but let's give them a minute. We're just going to have to wait it out. That is technically enough. So we'll just forsake the rest of the town. Okay. <laughs> I love I love this, how it's barely working. This is the whole idea of this challenge. So we're going to condemn most of the town. Because we don't have enough money that we can really save most of this place. But we need a small platform on which to rest the, re the remainder of our hopes and dreams. And I think that if we were to you know, spend a, a modest $12,000, $15,000... Almost just the rest of the money on landscaping this small area and then just create a hill. Oh, we can't build on water. That's a shame. Do you have anywhere where it's just barely dry enough? Eh, it'll dry up in a moment. Maybe. Well, what we're I mean, you know, I'm gonna just proceed with the rest of my plan as as I was. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do that, and that's fine. There we go. <laughs> Come to the safe area. <laughs> Come home, my children. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so dumb. Why? <laughs> Wait, cannot build on water. There's no water there. Oh, there was a little bit of water still. Alright, city skylines radio. Here we go. It's getting a little too jazzy for me. Okay, well we're we're out of money again. But it's okay, there's somewhere that it's safe to live in this town. Now, what we need to go ahead and do, um, we're going to need to just relocate everything because everything sucks. Just the whole town is awful. We're going to destroy most of the power plants because they're too expensive to maintain. We're going to destroy the other water pump as well because that's also, you guessed it, too expensive to maintain. We can't just reduce its funding to zero. I would destroy the dump if I could, but now that's going to just be a permanent drain on our resources. Um, 
I might have to subtly send a meteor over to that without telling anyone, and I'll just edit out that part of the VOD so that people forget that I did that, you know? That would be, uh, I would never, I mean, I would never do that. I would never do that. Um, like I said, we're experimenting here. I was just experimenting. And I think I'm going to legitimately need to take out a loan now. Okay, I'm saving again. I'm taking out a loan. Uh, this is allowed. Now, what are we at? 2002? Loan time. Um, hmm, there we are. Hey, the snack. Thank you very much for the sub. I've ever considered a subathon. What would be the point of a subathon? Just like everyone... No, I want you guys to watch this and just enjoy it for free. Why, like, everyone give me your money. I don't understand the, what is the, why do people do subathons? It's, uh, I think it's silly. Let's just take a modest $200,000 loan. I mean, as, as like, I don't know, as an influencer thing, I guess it's a good influencer strategy, but I've always just tried to do everything off of like, um, like just, just watch and enjoy. I don't know. It's, a, it's, a, it's really bad, like, it's really bad business, but it's also like, I don't know, I just feel like subathons are silly. Oh yeah, no, I think charity ones are good. I've seen people do them uh, just like for themselves, like, give me more. It's like, what the heck? Hmm. Charity events? We've done charity events. My only thing is that I like... I like doing them on regular scheduled intervals because sometimes I'll get a lot of emails in my inbox like, hey, could you do this? Hey, could you do this? And like, it is work. Um, so I don't always have the opportunity to do it. I wish I had more. I do regret that. But I've decided to limit it to a few times a year. I would just like to advertise them a little bit more ahead of time. We did, um, oh, come on. Tsunami again? The one I really liked doing was uh, RimWorld Hot Potato. That was a very fun event to do. We got together with, um, most notably, um, Italics, whom we raid a lot. He did that. Some streamers cry in the end. Small loan of $200,000. That's fine. Everything is fine here. Have we... Okay, we have... Come on, demand is booming again. Live in the good part of town. We won't forsake this part of town next. Oh, look, someone has decided to move in. Oh, my gosh. Wow, let's just destroy the rest of the town. I mean, this... All right, we're beginning again. We made a major mistake. I'm not gonna lie, this was such a mistake. Why did I do this? And let's put some power lines over to the safe zone. Here we go. This area, well, maybe this will be safe. We're going to just need to keep progressively raising the town for this. This is already a story. I think I found a good playthrough, guys. I'm happy with this. Can't build on water? Yes, you can. You did it before. We need just collecting it like connecting them like lifelines. Oh, uh, look at that. Okay, now here's how we're going to do the rest. We just took out a small student loan. There we go. This looks perfect. Yeah, the power lines over land will just hold up in the middle of water catastrophe. Oh, yeah, I can't build on water. Oh, yeah, God forbid that we got rid of that dock. That dock has basically been the moral support of this entire playthrough. Yeah, we could have... I mean, what I really should have done, looking back... I think it's more interesting if I include my mistakes in the playthrough. Hang on a second. Covering up... Covered up my mistakes. Uh, generally speaking, an AA playthrough has been... Not knowing what you're doing, and then just figuring out, figuring it out as you go along, and not really particularly understanding what is going on, but somehow everything sort of works out in the end. Hopefully, can we take out the other loans too? We could take out the other loans too if this wasn't enough. Um, as it happens, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just destroy all of our services in the lower city. This is really like, do you remember in Knights of the Old Republic how they had, uh, like the lower city where all of the, the proletariat lived? You went underground and it was dank and dark. This is basically that. It's odd, I didn't even mean to get political in this challenge, but it's somehow become that way. 
just by the very nature of what it is. Uh, do we have any more of those? Hang on a second. Let's just zoom out. Got to make sure our budget is real tight in this city. <laughs> Scrimp and save. It's like the most frugal city of them all. Is the water even dissipating? Because then I'm just going to have to destroy all of the roads. I mean, if the lower city did come up, even for a few months, it would probably be worth it for the amount of money we made back on it. We're like a Greek city-state. Yeah, the proletariat. I don't know, what would you call them? The, the, the rabble. Oh, you can't find any workers. Oh, well... Too bad. Too bad. Come on, guys. Move in. It's great. These properties, they're a little more expensive, these houses, but they're a lot more safe. There we go. These people these people are living on high ground. You know that verse in the Bible? The idiot builds his house on the sand. and the Wait, is, that's not another tsunami. Come on. Wait until the water recedes. Uh, jeez. Okay, I do think... Wow, it's actually evaporating. I am a surprised. We're still losing money, though. Um, mm. Do we end up paying the loan back? Oh, no, we have to pay the whole thing back. Time left. Okay, yeah, so it's interest 15%. Oh, I should have taken the smaller ones because it's slower interest. Well, whatever, I needed a lot of money. But we gotta put it to work if we wanna make this loan worthwhile. We gotta start making back the money if we... You know what I mean? Like, we got to do this like a small business. As this is rather challenging. Now I'm glad. I'm, like, I'm, I'm engaged in the game. I'm not just thinking about the video. That's how I always know it's a good challenge. <laughs> thinking, oh my god, am I actually going to make this work? <laughs> Rather than just, how am I going to film this? Okay, like, this is going to be a real pain. <laughs> how, how do I intellectually figure out this stupid exercise that I've created for myself? <laughs> uh... It is in moments like these that I love my job the most. There we go. Okay. Everything's fine. A tsunami has struck the city. Okay, you can ignore you can ignore that voice. There's no more tsunami now. Bring on the jazz quartet. Okay, the city's all right again. We're making negative $1,100. There's no police. It's just anarchy down there. We'll start putting services back up here where it's safe. Let's link up the road to the safe zone. This power plant probably won't sustain us, but we know where we can safely put some of our services now. Although, unfortunately, this area will probably be wiped out too by the next one, depending on which side it comes from. What wizardry is this where I made the year 2002? There's a mod that lets you start at a, a, a different year. I started at 2000 just because I wanted it to be number go bigger, you know? Um, okay, why are we not powering this thing? Is this not technically linked up? You seem to be powered. Oh, we just aren't producing enough power to create power. Let's, um... That was a sentence. Let's go ahead and do... Well, there still is road access. I think this was rather ingenious, just linking this up. Ingenious, he describes himself. That's also... Uh, we will start to fund the power again soon. Okay, they can build. Come back. Look, just like that, people's confidence has returned. Oh, it was a few months ago. I'm sure there won't be another one. Oh, I forgot about it. It's fine. Just a passing seasonal trend. Hang on a second. Destroy, destroy. Look, we're almost making money again. Oh, holy cow. This is fine. Let's just destroy the other remaining power lines, which are our only link to the rest of civilization. We might have to start... We're going to build this like a stairway upwards. Okay. Forgot about Tsunami. Digging a hole inside the hole. Come on, we, you guys. Uh, actually, ZN employee. If you see, how, also, how are you, ZN employees? Been a minute. 
How are you doing? Man, what will happen when the poop comes? It's kind of like out we're getting rained down our own our own fecal justice on ourselves, you know? Like, you deserve it. You deserve this. All right, I'll take a little bit more of that. Shower some of that crap this way. If you know what I mean. Let's build the power line. We can. I think that this is legal. This is a legal placement. Is there like a referee for this challenge? <laughs> Offsides. Left the starting tile. Yeah, okay, this... Ah, I'm beginning to understand the meta of my own dumb challenge. Okay. Good. Uh, do we still have piping going on there? Yeah, that's fine. We can leave the pipes. We'll raise enough taxpayer dollars while they're there. Confidently rebuilding. There we go. Okay, so let's put the police on the higher ground. Like, all of the, the upper class... <laughs> the upper st stratification part of society will live on the hill and then the other people will long to be on the hill this is kind of like if you ever watched land of the dead you know the zombie movie where all the upper class people like live uh in this really nice life and then the zombies come and the zombies were actually an allegory for social change and everyone kisses at the end great movie but yeah that's kind of what we've created here let's go ahead and um what are their major issues here so we're running out of space for the garbage. It is full, yeah. Tell me something I don't already know. Um, hmm. We need to uh, process the garbage itself. Incineration planet, so let's burn it by everyone's house. You know, you may smell garbage, the smell of death, but at least you'll survive. Once we get rid of the garbage, we can get the crime again. Yeah, let me just hang on a second, this is a Brilliant idea. Burning all the garbage at your house. Your house. All garbage, your house. I just have to... Yeah, I mean, that's a considerate thing of the city to do. Yeah. You don't have power, but at least it's dry for now. We've got maybe another three months before I launch a... Uh, Another tsunami at the town. We didn't know what was going to happen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say... It's my it's my challenge. I'm still experimenting. I'm allowed to make up the rules. I say we give our, our city a little bit more time before we expand up the next one. Maybe we'll say every two years we up the size of the tsunami. Is that fair? Is that Am I allowed to say that? Only because then the city just keeps getting wiped out and we can never make it. Well, maybe that would be more interesting. I don't know, let's come to a decision, chat. That was a 4.5 tsunami. Uh, honestly, that was way, way, way more powerful than the last one. They scale, like, exponentially. <laughs> Double it every year. No, because then we get to 10 too fast. We're done after, like, 20 years. Hmm. Oh, we do need to fund our stuff again. Sorry, I didn't do that. I don't know. Call, I'm feel free to call me out on my BS though, you know. Nah, you made it too easy. Uh, add a meteor in and destroy this. God forbid, what happens if we lose the seawall and the entire sea? Just, that's how I'm gonna end the playthrough. Is just take down the seawall. Now it's Sea World. Come and get it. Oh wait, healthcare. We don't need healthcare. We're much too strong for that. We're too proud to die. There we go. You, you're going to move out in a couple of months anyway. Don't act like you were going to use it. You're just complaining. There we go. Okay, the cops. Negative 204, negative 149, negative 82, and we're back in the green. Look at that. $51 a month. Uh, don't you love the glory of America? How far our country has come is the ice cube. Uh, unfortunately, they decided to move the ice cube factory somewhere else. I thought they had a good business model here. There was a lot of water. There we go. Look, people are deciding to move in. 
Okay, now there is a lot of crime, admittedly. So we, I think we can afford the cops again. We'll put the police in the upper city again. Yes. Come, save us, officers. There are men in balaclavas. Up to no good. Up to no good again. There they go. Noom. What is that? Oh, no, that's just a Jeep. Is Jeep just a generic name? Or is that always have to be a brand of car? Like, you don't see a Toyota going by in this station wagon. Huh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, like a hatchback is a, is a model of a car. I mean, it's not a model. It's just like a style. But a Jeep... I didn't know that. In addition to being a brand, the, I mean, the company Jeep... And yet also the word Jeep, is tra is it trademarked? Or is it like, could I just start a company that sells lemonade and then I name it Jeep? We, just, we beat them. We beat them in Google search. That was our strategy. Selling lemonade. With Jeep with a G. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Once again. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we do need... So we want to take care of the upper town and the lower town we're just forsaking at this point in time. If you haven't already noticed. I think most of you knew what was coming. So this is the residential area. Just everything is going to be the residential area, I suppose. Because... Well, not really a good reason. Let's find out what happens, though. Everything is going fine. Everything is going fine. Should we take out another loan? We are making a lot of money back. That would allow us to build up the upper town. Yeah, part of me feels like that the, the best idea here is to just take out all three loans. But then you've got to start making money back on them. Hang on a second. How much? 503 weeks. So that's going to take another 10 years to pay off. This is getting very interesting. I might even do the rest of this challenge on Twitch. This could be so interesting to see how this actually develops. The lower town is doing so well. The one unfortunate part, though, is that you can't terraform things directly beneath themselves. I'm just going to double check this. I, at least I think you can't. Oh, wait a minute. Can you slightly do this? Yeah, you can't because it's raising up all of the land nearby. See how their parking lots are awkwardly higher up now? But the main part of the property with the building is still very low like the Netherlands. Brightly colored in some... Oh yeah, this is San City Skylines, the anime, to be fair. Let's go ahead and... Well, what would I build if I had more money? Putting these services higher up. One thing I might feel good about is putting a power plant really high up. I feel as though it's kind of against the spirit of the challenge to put power plants up here. I think power lines are fine because they can be not affected by water. But good. More of you are moving into the smart part of town. I think we'll just start to demolish some of these roads in the outskirts. Because people aren't moving over here. Williams Street? More like Williams Road. Let's make it small, boy. Because we don't want to pay for all of this. We're trying to save money. Sorry, Ice Cube Factory Street. You just weren't that... You weren't good enough. Oh, no. He had just, <laughs> he just built his business. I just gave up. Yeah, we start to destroy this part of town. There we go. There we go. Okay, just destroy the end of the road. No one liked it anyway. It's just a dead end block. There'll be less traffic. You'll like it. There we go. All right. Bring in the town. Bring in the town. We're going up to higher ground. I feel like some sort of... Like Moses playthrough, you know? And they will march around this. I know well, this is Joshua, but they'll march around the city for seven days. <laughs> and then the walls just come down. Oh, there's so many fewer cars. Okay, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I, I made up my mind. Uh, burning all garbage, your house. Uh, destroy... Lower town, save money. Okay, so I came to a decision. I do want to raise the intensity of the tsunami every year. Uh, the very first one was too weak. That one was a little stronger than I had anticipated. 
So I think we'll just raise it up by one notch every week. Because I don't like it if it's every two years. Because I don't think that has as good a ring to it. I mean, you know, allow me this chat. Because this is the spirit of what I'm trying to do. And it does take a long time to make these things. Um, so I think the next one will be 4.6. And then we'll that'll give us about 50 years worth of tsunami intensity raising and it'll always come in from a different side but then after that after the first 50 years then we'll start adding in other disasters i think that's kind of the that's the wild card of this challenge either that or if it's just so bad at 10 we'll just have 50 years of 10 size tsunamis like an accurate depiction of the netherlands Okay. Seattle finally has some money left in the coffers. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and do roads. Hmm. No, I think we'll just keep raising. We'll raise the height of the land. Well, they have built up a nice city here. Is there anything I could do to save the city? I think it's also against the spirit of the challenge to raise the height of these seawalls. I, I don't buy that. I think that's that's not allowed. I mean, maybe in the end, if we have to, we will. But I, w I would rather do it in the quick and dirty way for right now so that we could still keep, you know, earning money on the rest of the city. Um, Let's go ahead and do... Well, raise the intensity of the brush. Raise the area. Grab that. Man, the soil is so expensive. We might be able to take down in other areas, though. Is there anywhere that's raised? No, and it feels cheap to take it out of the walls. So then let's go ahead and just build up this area. Yeah. I'm building up the town. I'm a good person. Here we go. The longer... This is so... Yeah, this is... This is reminding me a lot of the C-Block challenge now. Except with just an, an incoming thread all of the time. Okay, I know how this works, and it does... I know what I'm doing. I'm a trained idiot. Here we go. Do this. Okay, cool. It's safe. Move in. Everything is fine. Let's put a crematorium here, too. I think that would go nicely, don't you? Oh, and it is time to launch the next tsunami. Okay, uh, save in case if I make a horrible mistake that ruins everything. This is 2002, indeed. Uh, tsunami... Three, whatever. I didn't spell it right, but it's fine. Okay, so this is going to be a 4.6 according to the new made-up rule that I made up for myself. There we go. I would go back and restart the entire thing, but I've done it about four or five times now. And I think this is in the spirit of the challenge. I think that's fine. Don't you? If not, AA cancelled. Doesn't actually raise intensity of... Well, technically I did. I just slightly followed it from pattern. It's fine. It's fine. We found... We found the one, folks. The intensity of tsunami that just did it for me. So now we have cops. We aren't really removing the dead. But mostly, the well, the dead people will end up being in the upper echelons of society soon enough. We could build a cut. We could build like a financial district. Start trading stonks. Now we don't want to build anything that runs out of space. God forbid. Uh, so there will be only corpse burning, as well as, eh, let's try to keep these people healthy, because these will be the people we care about. This is getting so oddly, horribly classist, and just dystopian at the same time. Though my fear is, what if the tsunami doesn't just, like, stay around the island, but it actually rides up onto the island, in which case, uh, we need to do all of that again. Let's save up some money, too. We might have to just save up and wait and then pull a, like a fast wall around this. I have another idea too. We could, depending upon which direction the tsunami comes from, we could quickly terraform the land around it so that we build a seawall, like kind of procrastinating with sandbags at the last minute. And then we just, <laughs> and then we just watch and see what happens. Good, we can start to destroy more of the outer lying roads because they aren't as useful to us. Oh well, your business will just have to suffer. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. We don't really need your taxpayer dollars. They're not as efficient as the other people's. Chapman Street, more like 
nothing street because there I destroyed it. <laughs> mm. Man, what a clever, what a clever joke. I have been launching tsunamis at a city for three years. Hmm. How much money do we need for this? 25,000? Okay, I'm gonna put this really high up because I, I'm gonna make an investment. Let's put it near, uh... Eh, let's put it near the power plant. We might even want to invest in some uh, city drainage. Does anyone remember which tab the city drainage is under? I still don't... I still can't figure this out. Was it here? We have to figure this out because a little bit of drainage might not hurt for the top area. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Right there. Right there. Uh, the, uh, the cemetery... We won't... We'll run out of room in the cemetery. Everybody dies in it. Ring around the middle of the city to help protect the lower class. No, it's just gonna get through anyway. Come on, guys. We gotta figure out this water drainage thing. Let's do this now. Okay, so I think we are going to build a, a drainage station somewhere a little bit higher up, but we need to earn it, you know? It's not fair if we just take it out. So let's go ahead and take out a loan. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. YOLO, I have no shame. Okay, and now it is fair m for me to do this. <laughs> what is fair? What is fair? We're going to go ahead. <laughs> only so that there's some way to get back down into the city and have hope after everything is over. We've already launched our tsunami at our city. Let's go ahead and just... And we're going to, like, copy and paste this part. So we'll copy there. And then we'll put this higher up. Maybe, like, here. Okay, that's all the money that we had left. But that should be enough for a drainage station. And then we just build this downward. Let's build it over to this road, because this usually is safe. Famous last words. And then this goes here. And then hopefully the tsunami isn't coming from that side. Um... Because then it'll be safe, like, three out of four times, at best. Um, and then <laughs> we put in... Oh, and now we don't have any money left to afford it. Okay, so now we take out another loan. We have $26,000, and then hopefully the massive loans that we have to pay off will be able to save up in the next two months enough $100,000. This plan is really starting to fall apart now that I have to put it into words. But we are still gaining... Okay, the amount of money that we're gaining every week. That's all right. Once the tsunami is almost here, we'll just raise taxes... And then we'll get enough money for a drainage station. And that way we can bail them out bit by bit. This is the equivalent of... When the hurricane first hit... I was talking about when we had a big hurricane hit our house. We had many hurricanes, but one of them flooded our house as kids. First we started, we were like, oh, we'll, just do, we'll use towels. Because there was some water coming in. <laughs> so I remember when I was like 17 years old, we were just trying to dry up the hurricane water. And keep in mind, this is the sea coming into the house. We're just putting towels under door. <laughs> I remember my mom like, <laughs> "Oh my god, this is br this is bringing back traumatic old ex." Nah, that's not that's not really traumatic, but that's like, <laughs> it's incon it's an inconvenience more than anything else. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't have to pay for it. My, <laughs> I think they got a little bit of FEMA money out of it. <laughs> oh my god. And everyone lived happily ever after. It was, it was, it was near do, do Jersey. New Jersey. We aren't able to burn the garbage fast enough. We did launch that tsunami. How many months ago was that that we launched the tsunami? Should be here around New Year's. Come on. Wait, is that it right there? Wait a second. Check the horizon. Well, all we're doing right now is waiting for enough money so that we can afford... We're paying off three loans. Come on, guys. I did launch it. You witnessed it with your own eyes. I think that's it out there. Yeah, I think that... Do you see that? I think that's it. I'm not positive. That other one did come fast, though. That last one. If not, then I have to launch two. The next two. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Hmm. All right, hang on a second. I have to check and make sure that the tsunami is coming like it's supposed to. It's like ordering a pizza. Hey, we didn't get it yet. <laughs> oh, bottom right corner? Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I thought I had made a mistake. It, this one's coming right around. It always comes right around Christmas. Q4. Tsunami hit. Okay, we're going to lose a lot of money here. So let's go ahead and we're going to raise taxes. There it is. Thank God. I uh, Good eyes. Good eyes. Thank you, Grimtels. So what should we do? We should probably raise... Uh, who do we want out of town? Raise it up by a little bit. 13... No one will notice. Just, you know, bit by bit. Oh, this is just a typo. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, it wasn't a typo. I take it back. So sorry. We just raised your taxes by like 50%. There we go. So we're making a lot more money. Good. We'll momentarily rake it in. Just in time for Christmas. No one will notice. We'll, we'll raise the rates at a, at a time of year when people are busy with other stuff. There we go. Okay, it's getting closer. <laughs> I'd say, oh, this one might not be as bad. Maybe there's some variability. <laughs> you know you live in a bad part of the world if you <laughs> say, maybe this time the tsunami <laughs> won't be as bad. Man, look at all the garbage. I'm just ashamed of myself. We have all this garbage burning going on. That should have been enough. Like, do I burn the garbage or do I drink? Let's solve the main problem at hand. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, Vigilante AA right here. Well, I, I will destroy their houses, but first off, let's just see what the big wave does. This one, for some reason, doesn't look as bad. Maybe there is some variability. Oh no, it looks pretty bad. Here we go. Tsunami number three. It's like your third birthday. Unfortunately, it didn't come on the poop side again. So far, we've been playing with that danger. There we go. Okay, wash them out. Let the rain fall. Well, it's just a tsunami. There we go. Good. Kill them. I mean... There we go. Look, the taxpayer dollars are... F this, it was like the optimal tax curve. Okay, so now at the last second, when everyone's about to die, we just raise taxes to like 30% for a couple of days. That way we just get the rest of their money. There we go. Look, $7,000, 8000 9000 Okay, we'll have enough money to bail out the people who can afford the town at the end. There we go, 13, 14. We can almost afford the stupid thing I wanted. Now, let's see if the higher area is going to be safe. It's like it turns into a smaller tsunami. Look, everyone's upset about the taxes. This is so great. They won't even be able to cover it on the news. Oh, my God, my taxes. So the people are inside doing their taxes. They go, whoa, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. And look, innocuously washes past... I mean, they're still upset about taxes over here, but look, we finally have enough money to afford the thing I wanted. And good, now the tech, because everyone's moving out. Well, either that or they're just being killed by the tsunami. And now we bring back down taxes for a soft landing with the Federal Reserve. There we go. Clap. Gamer moment. Okay. Big success, honestly. We now have enough money to... um. Well, which one do we want to do? Do we want to bail everybody out? Literally and figuratively. Or how much garbage is this processing? Let's go ahead and fund the garbage. We didn't do that, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, so we'll fund the garbage 150%. You got to get a good garbage collection in this in this kind of town. To be fair. Man. I mean, if I had a feature request for City Skylines 2, I would like to do one of the tsunami announcements. Like, oh, oh, Jesus, like, <laughs> get the buckets and the towels. You know, I would like, or maybe I'll just make a mod. That's very selfish of me. They do have good voice actors for these things, though. <laughs> All right, now let's get, let's get the jazz going. We made it. Raise the roof. 
We made it through the tsunami. It is the garbage. The garbage is slowly disappearing. Slowly but surely. Okay, now we are in the red again. Uh-oh. Uh, well, we are going to have to wait it out partly. But look, none of it made it onto the higher ground. Okay, what do we do to procrastinate our way back to safety? Um, oh god, I should have built that thing a second ago. But I mean, will the drainage really save us? Eh, it's not gonna help them. Let's just raise the rest of this land. And look, residential demand is still ex it still exists. It still exists. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll start to cut off that part of town just to make it more inconvenient. Yeah, don't... Don't come back. And don't come back. Look, everyone's glad. Less noise from the road. More garbage collection. So can we collect this garbage over here? How many trucks are in use? Se only seven out of 34. That's where our funding will go. 1,316. It's relatively stable, the amount of money that we're losing every every day. Um, wow, this one actually did... Uh, why didn't this, this tsunami wasn't as big? I guess we got lucky, you know? I guess we got unlucky, or rather we got unlucky the first time with the number of islands that were being hit by the tsunami. I think we can go ahead and just pay back our first loan or our second one. Let's pay back the second one. We're not really gonna do this the uh, Dave Ramsey way. We're just gonna pay this off. We're gonna get the cash flows back. Here we go, we don't need it. Baby steps, we're getting out of debt. <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, okay, I think we could start to- Oh, wow! Wow, very exciting. Okay, we'll re- I will reconnect the road for that. Okay, spare them. Spare them. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take off on the- just the house destruction rampage I was planning on. I can't afford the services, so I'm just gonna destroy your home if you have trash. This is a bizarre solution. Uh, Tsunami 3, what are we in now? 2003? Good for us. Wow. Survived made it uh what what else am i gonna say destroying your homes i'll get what i meant when i, if I just said destroying there we go okay we'll pause time because i want to make sure that they rebuild fast after all demand is pretty high or no you know we'll let them rebuild one by one crime no more house for you there we go debt somebody died in the house i don't think so we do have on the automatic bulldoze, though. That is quite a help. If only there were a mod to destroy your house if literally anything is wrong with it and then have someone else build back up because I don't need to pay for any of it. It's just a developer, a very... <laughs> a very stupid developer will just come in and... Yeah, I'll do it. I've only lost like $5 billion on that town over the last few years. Yeah, I guess we could take out another loan. I mean, after all, it does cost nothing to destroy your house. We just send in a bunch of children to kick it. I don't know. Whatever the strategy is in this Seattle. What is this town? There we go. All right, there's only a few sick people. Oh, not for long, though. Let's get rid of those. There we go. Stop coughing. <laughs> I mean, I'm all right. There we are. Okay, no water at- well, maybe the water one we do want to fix. Alright, there's only a couple things wrong now. Alright, okay, now in the- we do want to take care of the healthy people. Um, here we go. Oh, you're sick? Yeah, we'll take care of you. But why aren't you going to the clinic next door? Oh, because you live next to the power plant. I suppose that does make sense. We're just not making enough money fast enough, though. Uh I'm going to need to wait this out a little bit longer. Well, the taxation is accelerating. I wonder what the optimal amount is. Now, a lot of these games do black box it, unless if it's on a spectrum. Uh, like, what is the optimal amount that you should tax your population before they just start to leave? Sometimes it is a discrete amount. Like, if they're at, I don't know what it is, like 3%, and that's going to be the max demand. Lowering it anymore won't help you, but I don't know what it is for city skylines. Is there an amount that's okay? Hey, Sarah Dance Painter. Thanks very much. Is it 12%? Is it 12 or 11? Okay. I, I'm willing to be a gamer for right now. We'll do it. I'm a gamer. MLG. Well, do a, let's bring it up to 11 because I don't want to... I want to be conservative. 
There we go. Good. Might even bring in some high density housing. Now, do I want a water bailout service? Um, I think the loans did me some good so that I have at least something to fall back on. You know, looking... B eh, I wouldn't have made all the same choices, but what is life without a few bad choices? The poop is really... I'm just going to leave that there. I think that's like a rule of this challenge. That's part of it. There always needs to be poop in a playthrough. Okay, we're making $3,800. What is that? Per week? Weekly income, yeah. Low health. Oh, yeah, we should probably fund that. Oh, my gosh, how naive of me. Yeah, okay. Then we aren't just, like, hitting your knee with... We don't have one of those doctor hammers to hit your knee with to test your reflex. So we just use a real hammer, and then you have to come back because now we've broken your kneecap. And that's how we do business in this doctor's office. Oh, come on. We could get... Come on. Bring them into the... Well, the crematorium was finally funded as well. Okay, good. Now they're picking people up and just burning them. Hopefully they're all dead. <laughs> it's just a very... Uh, this, the person who runs this crematorium is very poor. It's a deaf guy with very poor executive functioning skills. He just sees people screaming as they go into the crematorium. And it turns out they were still okay. We made some mistakes. <laughs> oh, no. Basically the world's worst one. We thought we were doing a service to the population. I hope they have good insurance. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Hey, Bar Soap. Thank you very much for the 500 bits. Uh, we haven't had the Doonami yet. We've had the, the normal boy Tsunami. And yet 4,500 people still decide to live in this town. I need to make a city builder through the ages. I think that'd be neat. That was something along the lines of what I was thinking. Okay, good. We've solved many of the problems of the upper echelons of society. We might be ready to educate them sooner or later. I would really doubt it. Um, stop playing that jazz. That's very distracting. That's also distracting. Okay, city skylines radio. Good. Finally, we have our plumbing situation under control again. Let's make some decisions. So, let's make these people's lives a little bit better, maybe. Um, another thing that we could do, it occurs to me, is we could build, like, a wall within the city to shield the inner city and then build that up. I don't think any of that is going to work, though. So, let's just keep doing it in the scuffed, awful way. Um, oh, we did spend all this money to build up over here, too, to be fair. Yeah, I don't know. I think I want to pay off my loans. Um, would you guys hate me if I just kind of waited here? We'll talk it over, and then we'll we'll pay off our loans. Give me a minute. All right, I'm going to permit myself. I thought that poop disposal would be interesting into the ocean. I mean, it is basically a free disposal. So I think instead we're going to build an inland water treatment plant. We'll start to build some major services up here because these will deflood themselves fast enough. Um, like if there should be... For example, another tsunami. I don't know why that would happen. But, oh, it's getting to be time to launch the next one almost now. Hmm. Hopefully the next one... I am rooting for a weak one. Where's that? Oh, yeah, we have to do another dumping station. But let's focus on... Yeah, maybe a little bit more water treatment. Water service to include... Building process and drains the wastewater back into the ground and plants... Okay, so then this is going to pollute the ground nearby it. But that's okay if it's on the edge of the city. We pretty much want all our pollution on the edges. We can play this in kind of the SimCity style, where just the edge of the map is mysterious vanishing. But yeah, there we go. Okay, so then this is going to treat some of the water. So we don't have this drainage issue, because that was the problem in this town. The cops are slowly starting to address, though this is also, keep in mind, the bad side of town, which we, you know, we aren't working as much on it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, oh, and I can destroy that too. What a waste, man. There we go. Yeah, just... It's like a cruise. Yeah, it is. That's a cruise. That's not even a cargo ship. Look at that. There it goes. And if you... Don't look out the left side of the window. 
This, this, this is what is in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh man, I'm just gonna let those people be sick. I think at this point in time, I'm better off just paying off the rest of the loan. I'm gonna do the responsible thing. Another 445 weeks, but it is 15% interest, which is nasty. And I think we had a pretty bad spell there at the beginning, but I just... How much is it again? Yeah, 170,000. So we're gonna need to wait maybe till the next tsunami, but which we're gonna be launching right about now. All right, let's get it done. No, uh, 5,000. There we go. Yeah. All right, we're about ready to fi refinance this loan. Oh, wow. Man, this is so millennial of me. Okay, we just raised taxes to 12%. And this is amazing because now this is going to allow me to do real-life economics in the game. Okay, good. It is starting to plateau, but as long as it doesn't fall below 4,300, we should be able to go into our loans. Now, I'm going to pause time and take out two new loans, and then I'm going to pay off the higher interest loan. This is like really bad credit card debt version of City Skylines. And now that will raise our monthly income even more until we can then pay off the other loan. Um, no, now we've taken out the lowest. But yeah, we took out, we got paid off a 15% and we took out a 10 and a 5, which are two separate ones. So yeah, we're paying off less. I am amazing. And look, the demand is just through the roof again live there temporarily while I try to figure something out for you. Uh, could we do high density as well? Attract young adults. Okay, well, you know, I want them to live, so why don't they stay up here? They won't feel well, but, you know. Like, you know, maybe if living next to a power plant kills you, um, maybe, maybe you just die. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a gamer. Um, let's go ahead and pay off this loan as well. Okay, and then let's check on where the tsunami is. It is... No, it still shouldn't be here anytime soon. But can we see it? Buy new land? No, I'm not allowed to do that. Okay, here we go. Refinancing. I forgot. Uh, refinancing. I think that's an important detail of the playthrough. It wouldn't be... A good hundred years of tsunamis playthrough if we didn't have to refinance alone. <laughs> Make 15% returns. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I've never gotten into credit card debt, but I mean, there's like a whole. <laughs> you basically get your degree in like <laughs> uh, economics by the time that you finish off paying off your credit card debt and you learn your lesson. <laughs> If you have to go through that. Um, the big question mark here is, uh, oh, will we save the city? Hang on a second. I have to come to a decision if I'm going to want to save these people. Yeah, okay. We could use a fire department. We'll put it on the higher ground here. We'll put it, like, right there so that we don't demolish it with the road in a minute. Okay, go, my people. Go. Save them because I don't want it to spread throughout the rest of the town. And maybe he's funded more than $17.50 to pay our entire fire department per month, I think. Yeah, there they go. There go at least two guys. They're making, like, twelve fifty for the whole month. Good. Remember, those are city dollars, so that's a lot of money. This is a different kind of currency. Don't equate it to dollars, you ignorant American. Says the Florida man. Anyway, um, okay, need the cops... Well, I mean, if somebody's robbing your house and then a huge wave just hits it. You know, you'll be fine. Hey, Sarah Dance Peter, thank you very much for gifting this up. Thank you. Pay off my loan pretty much all the principal left. Hmm. 444 million, 444,444. That is that number. Thank you very much for the sub. AFJ. Are you able to type properly on your keyboard? <laughs> Thank you for the four months. <laughs> AFJKLH. <laughs> I would have a hard time remembering my username. Look, three donut trucks in a row. I always think of The Simpsons hit and run when I see these things with like the radioactive stuff combined with the donut people. Remember what I'm talking about? I don't even remember that. Wasn't that a part of the Simpsons hit and run? Like, he would go visit Apu 
in the uh, in the deli, Homer. And then he would get a donut and then go to the whatever he worked at, like a nuclear power plant. Fifty-seven thousand. Um, now I'm just saying numbers. I'm sounding like Rain Man. Okay, as soon as the tsunami strikes, we'll raise taxes and then we'll pay off our last loan, and then I think we'll be good because now we finally have something real set up. Where is it now? I think that's that. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. There it is. It's right there. Okay. It's just it got broken up by the islands again. Phew. Thank God for that. Being safe around tsunamis. The video. That was very misleading, though. That first. Okay. Wait a minute. No, this is a big boy. Uh. Okay. We'll find out if it kills us. Good, there we go. All the sick, criminal young people. <laughs> young people are sick criminals. <laughs> I'm turning into such a geezer. <laughs> it's okay, we'll just take them to jail. <laughs> and the hospital. Okay, here we go. What is this? Suna Wait, what year is it? 2003? It's still 2003. <laughs> we have so many years to go. 2003, big tsunami hit. Still going strong. Which way is it even coming from? It looks like it got diverted a lot. We had really bad luck the first time. Okay, there it comes. Okay, so now we raise taxes again. Raise them. Temporarily? Temporarily? Until we can pay off the loan. Most of you won't survive again. Go, Seattle Coast Guard. You have protected us from so few of these tsunamis. Now let's find out what happens with our highland. Oh no, I think this one may actually flood the highlands. <laughs> Flee to the highlands. I'm going to pay off my loan. This is such a corporate buyout at the last second. <laughs> it's so odd how this parallels real life economics. Like, the CEO made $10 billion at the last second. He just flies off in a helicopter. All the normal people are upset. Now even the people who live on the high ground are upset. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need to raise the city even higher. Okay, let's defund everything. This is, is representative of them dropping wages at the last second. Everything will be fine. I'm just gonna raise your car insurance rate. I swear to God, my car insurance rates went up like 50% in the last six months. Yeah, we just, uh, shareholders, shareholders. Oh, God. In our chat. I didn't mean to go all political on you there. I'm just saying this is the world we're living in. Look at him go. Yeah, your, your car insurance rates are rising. Somehow the... Man, these are really well-built trucks. Yeah, somehow all the corporate uh, in uh, capital doesn't need replacing. There we go. All the plebs, give us the rest of your money. There goes the population. This is such a real picture. Uh, political, uh, really too real for words. There we go. I'm not saying that Hurricane Katrina was an inside job. I'm not saying that the meteors and the tsunamis were an inside job. I'm trying my best, chat. I'm trying my best. Okay, now I think it's almost time to defund all the services and all of the... Here we go. Come back. Come back. Let's pause time as we have the power to do. 12 we found was the optimal amount. That just barely keeps them working while they, uh, while they struggle to survive. Let's go ahead and defund just everything for a little while again. This is, you know, the irony here, though, is that it, it, the playthrough isn't even going to be repetitive because it does get better over time. I mean, if we survived that big a loan, look, we could just take out another $280,000 worth of loans. And we're fine. Look, I've done this almost totally vanilla. Look, these people are back to normal already. I mean, the rest of the town is absolutely screwed. But, oh, you don't have water? Okay, then we'll give them the water. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, okay, have some water. 
Okay, now maybe I will fund some of this. Fund the water, fund the power of the roads a little bit, a little bit. Maybe like 100, 101. Uh, and then we do want to keep those uh, wealthy folks healthy so that they can survive. Don't worry, we will uh, we will exploit them soon enough too, though. The fire department clearly doesn't need any funding right now. And then the garbage, yeah, we'll fund the garbage. We don't have to take out everyone's garbage, though. Keep that in mind. Okay, I think we're good. If only we could get rid of that dump. Let's empty it. Empty building to another facility. There truly is no other facility, but we just need to get rid of that because it's it's on our uh, it's on our balance sheet still. <laughs> what about shelters? How is a shelter gonna help us when there's just an ocean all around? <laughs> like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Wait, I uh, to be fair, no, I'm being an idiot. Do shelters help? I've never used them. My insurance went down. Your insurance went down? Maybe it's the state I'm living in, too. Oh, there we go. Look, some you just got a little water in the basement. It's fine. Okay, we survived. Uh, survived. What is it, 2004 now? It is. We made it all the way to 2004. There we go. Madden 2004 is coming out. It's selling like crazy. Oh, my gosh. They've never made a Madden like this. Wow. Incredible, incredible game. We're losing $4,000, but demand is somehow high. Uh, how? I think we need to lower the funding for this. I got a little excited there. And, yeah, we'll just give you like 100%. Here we go. Okay, other things that we could do. The power plants aren't underwater, though I'm now thinking to myself that maybe... No, um, some of your houses will come back. 2,800, 2,500. And look, we don't depend on loans anymore. Wow. Debt-free. The miracle of being debt-free. 714, 438, 180. We're back in the green somehow. The whole town is still suffering immensely. But look, we have soaring demand. People have seen the miracle that is Seattle. I mean, like a seagull rising to greater heights every day. Let's go ahead and, um, I guess we should start building higher because this wasn't high enough. Um. Eh, uh, uh, shut up. There's no more tsunami. We're fine. Avoid the roads! Uh, you might just avoid everything. Just f start flapping your arms and hope that you can fly. All right, um, huh. Well, I guess that we want somewhere that just, like, gets a little bit of water. It's kind of like a shower. Oh, darn. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I can't undo. Oh, well, I d came dangerously close to destroying the seawall that saves us. All right. That's a nice, even higher point. Look, it's slightly higher than this. And that costs all of $50,000 to create. Terraforming in this game is very expensive, which keeps the rest of this challenge very interesting. Very, very interesting. But though we should probably connect that to the rest of it. Um, <laughs> just come and meet me over here. Is it higher? I can't really tell. But we've got to keep, like, slightly just bringing it up bit by bit. I mean, we'll just create pits where the water is. The lower town's residents are the getting by. Yeah, look, there it goes. Slightly higher, but not so much higher that it's going to require a change in the roads. This is what I was looking for. And we got to keep this grid structure going. Everyone know that grids are the best. Oh, uh, look, it does. Indeed, it goes slightly higher. We'll just do this, and then this should match up with our... There we go. There we go. Nice, nice. Do we somehow... Can we cheat some more road on here? Ooh, I'm cheating a little bit. Look, there I go. I'm not paying for the terraforming, but I've somehow... Well... Oh, no, it's actually lower. I've screwed myself horribly. I take it back. Never mind. Oh, and it totally returns the land to normal. Okay, that is... Ah, uh, you city skylines game designers anticipating that I would do this. Keeping me honest. Keeping me honest to my word. Landscaping. Oh, we don't have enough soil. God forbid. All right, well, then let's just make more roads in an awful way. Those game devs at, back at it again. Gaming and making a game. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what 
That's what they do all day. That's mostly what indie game devs do all day. They just... They just make games. That's all they do. Hmm. It, 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 sorry, a thing you hear of. There's so many indie game devs out now. Oh, hang on a second. Ah, oh, dang. Nice. We got. We got to save. We've finally. I finally have plan. There we are. How else are we gonna do it? What am I gonna design a well-designed neighborhood in this? Oh yeah, so then I put the promenade over there. No, these people are barely surviving. Well, maybe there is a better way to do it. I don't know, what would you suggest, professor? Hexagons? Oh, why didn't I think of that in the first plane? Because yes, all of the, it's all hexagonal property. Moats, I don't know, yeah, maybe we could try something similar. Well, I don't know, give me your, uh, give me your civil engineering plan, Shakespeare. Uh, sir, well, hmm, I mean, the mode idea, maybe there's something of merit about that. What I'm just trying to do is, look, we've got to keep stepping up this city to higher levels, because what I think happens is this. Let me explain it to you in my five-year-old terms. The tsunami strikes the city, and then it comes down, and it, you know, it doesn't really stay as high as it was, like it waterfalls, then it kind of becomes lower, and then... We kind of have a baseline at whatever level it comes down to. So we just need to start raising parts of this pit fast enough so that people can move into them and that we can collect money from the lower population fast enough so that we could build up a higher population which actually survives. Then they become the lower population until we have high, even higher ground. And then also let's make some more of these even denser. That would be better. Just say goodbye to your house. You have garbage in it? We're going to build an apartment there. We have enough time before the next year. Uh, until eventually we are higher up and we are... I mean, you know, there's good intention at the end. But there's going to be a lot of intergenerational uh, traumatic experiences of death and flooding and houseboats until we get there. So, But just remember, when you think, why did he do that? I did it for you. I did it so that you could learn about the government's intent eventually to help us, you know, from our corporate masters. This is an odd decision. Why did we do this? Let's go through the tunnel of dirt that leads into... Oh, of course! Just... I'm just going to leave that. Wait a minute, it's $1,800! I do get a refund. Is it still like, yep, that's how we should... No, I don't know. That was just a biz one of those bizarre things that happens. Like the like the northern lights or an aurora. It's a strange natural phenomenon. All right, you don't have water? Too bad. Too bad, I say. Drink the rain water. Okay, are we able to clear this thing out as well? No, oh, it's only 95% full. Thank God. It's almost empty now. Stop complaining, lady. We're fine. We're fine. There we go. Okay, let's get some actual garbage burning happening. Some good old garbage burning. Um, uh, hmm. No, there is still demand. Well, as long as we still have demand, let's just keep building the city and not take care of their needs. That sounds so oddly real. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, so another idea would be this. We don't want to keep building up parts that we need to bridge them, but we want to slowly raise the whole area. So we have this. But it's like, where does the cutoff point come? I think that this will be safe from tsunamis for a little while. So let's do... Uh, maybe like that high, right? And then we did... Oh no, we can't afford the soil. How much is it? Never mind. I'm going to have to wait. I think I need like fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars to buy soil. Um, it's very expensive to do this. What can I say? A very hard challenge. One of the most difficult. I'll go down as one of the most notorious gamers of all time. Finally, been able to afford soil for like fifty thousand dollars. I didn't even get all the soil out of it, but I digress. Okay, here we go. This is this is how it's meant to be done. Uh, that was very expensive. We're out of money. Only if just for a slight raise, but we could put like three or four houses. But see, I see those new houses as much 
more like robust investments because those are going to be higher up than the rest of town. They don't require a bridge. And look, these are very safe houses to live in. Clearly they're safe for now. Than the rest of town. Look, if you just wish to be like a feudal lord over a bunch of swimmers, then this is the town for you. Oh no, what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Okay, I feel as though I, I have the main idea of what I'm kind of looking for in this playthrough. And I, that's why I've generally ch tested this out with Twitch chat. I know we got through only about four years of the thing, but a lot of this challenge I can see is going to be um, me leaving my computer running and just staring at it mouth open for the next couple of weeks. Um, I would go a little bit further, although I feel like it's going to start to get kind of repetitive. And I think more of the joy in this challenge is in seeing how the events fold out after this. And I think that's where YouTube comes in. Uh, I may check back in because, I don't know, I feel like uh, there have been times like refinancing my loans when I felt I needed some advisory, <laughs> like I needed an advisory committee. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, this, is, this has been fun. Thanks for joining me for this. Uh, I think I am going to put a bit of a bookmark in it there, though, because we've been there for three hours, and I generally don't stream for more than that. Um, I'm sorry I didn't look a little bit more at chat, although I uh, felt like I, we, we got a lot out of this. <laughs> um, we're going to raid somebody in a minute, but if there's anything I missed, I'll, I'm happy to answer it right now. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. This turned out to be a rather large stream. I thought We haven't done a morning stream in a while, but where is, everybody, is everybody from, like, Australia or something? Or it's a little too late now for the Australian crowd. And what is it today? It's a Sunday, so that, yeah, we're probably hitting the U.S. 